In this video, we will go over the terrain mesh paint mode, which is a handy tool if you want to paint rocks and trees or whatever else uh, that you want to duplicate real easily while painting it onto the terrain. Um, okay, so this tool is pretty simple, really. Um, the the brush difference doesn't matter too much. Uh, some most of these settings don't really mean a whole lot as far as this goes, so I'm not going to really touch on any of those. We do want the left mouse button to be add so that we can paint them down. Okay, so if we select the terrain mesh paint mode button here, it's the third one over. It will automatically put us in put us into the mesh uh, tab here. And if we select down, or scroll down, select down, select and scroll down, yes. Uh, we have a few options here. We've got the distance max, that's how far away the objects can be from each other, and the distance min, which is how close they can be to each other. As you're painting, you can do slope limits uh, just like we did with the paint. So if you only want it to put stuff on the side of a mountain or whatever, you would set your... Uh, slope limit there. Uh, looks like we can alter the scale as well. Now with trees, do not change the scale because if you do, uh, when someone cuts them down, they will look funny and they may break things. So uh, with trees, it is best to keep the scale at once. So you would leave these one one. Now with rocks, if you want the scales to alter as you paint, you just change your max and your and your uh, minimum, and as you're painting, it'll scale the rocks in different rates. And then we have a line to terrain, which with the trees, you don't really want to do that because like right here, the tree will be kind of angled, and I'll show you that in a second. So align the terrain, uh, it's not the height of it, it's the direction it's angled at, okay? which is probably perfect for the rocks. Uh, this rock may not be the best example, but I'm gonna use it uh, just in this example and you can kind of do whatever you want. Uh, random rotate. So when this is checked, as you're painting, it'll paint the, or place the objects down in different rotations. If it's unchecked, it will be in the same rotation as the one as selected, okay? So now let's, uh, do things. All right, so I've got some terrain here so that we can kind of see what's going on as far as the trees go and all that good stuff. I'm gonna zoom in here just a little bit. Okay. And I've got I've got my trees in a, their own transform group. Now, something to keep in mind is you you want to put whatever you're wanting to duplicate here in its own transform group because if you keep it in a other another one, well, you can however you want to do it but this is my suggestion put the trees in their own transform put your rocks in their own transform so that way as they're duplicating they're not being cluttering up another transform that's unrelated to what you're doing okay and you can alter it however you want later that's my suggestion okay so we'll select the uh the lodgepole pine here stage two and uh just start painting so i've got my basic settings here this is default, and uh, yeah, so look at that. So that's what happens there. Okay, we'll undo that. Now let's say I want the distance uh, to be a little higher, so we'll set our max distance up. You want the max distance to be higher than the minimum. See how the trees are further apart now? Okay, so let's set our max distance to 25 and our minimum to what does zero do? Okay. So you can paint them pretty close together there. There's probably a minimum of one or something like that. And I, I believe this is in meters, how close they are together. Because you don't want trees too close together. Because if they're, you know, touching or whatever, then it makes for some very uncomfortable logging. And notice it just duplicated it uh, down from where the one that selected is. Okay. I didn't realize it did it like that, but okay. Let's undo. And you can kind of play with these settings to see what works best for you. Now, here's what I mean by the align to terrain. Go ahead and do that. So notice how the trees kind of have some angles to them. Well, they're aligning to the spot on the terrain that they're located at. 
So um, for rocks, you don't, or for trees, sorry, for trees, you don't really need that. Um, it does add for some cool uh, variety, I guess. But if your train's really steep, then your tree's going to be angled like crazy. So something to keep in mind. Uh, so we'll uncheck that. Uh, and you don't want to mess with the scales on trees. Okay, so that's the trees and kind of what you can do there. Oh, let's see. If I unselect, does it reset? Nope, it doesn't. I don't remember what it was. I think it was 10 and like 5 or something. Yeah, so that's, I'd still like them to be a little bit closer, but I also like to put more variety of trees in there. Unfortunately, you can only do one object type at a time. So if you selected, uh, let's unselect that one. If you selected all of these, unfortunately, as you paint, it's only going to do the top one. See here? Yep. Only did the top tree. Now, I do have a tree script that will automatically put trees down based on the paint or anywhere, everywhere on the map, whichever one works best for you. You can check that out on our GitHub. I'll have a video out on that soon. But, um... Uh, yeah, so as far as uh, just a few trees here and there, this tool works great. Now for rocks, um, I am working on a script for this, but I haven't figured out how to align it to the terrain like this does. So hopefully I can figure that out soon. But for now, um, we'll go ahead and try this out. So rocks, we don't want too close together. That's a kind of, I mean, that's kind of neat, but that's too close together, right? Let's go ahead and undo that. So we'd want to set our minimum distance up a little bit, make sure we bump our max. And that's still kind of close together, right? So we'll bump that max up and we'll bump that minimum down. Oh, we forgot to undo this. And there we go. And it's randomly placing them, right? Which is kind of nice. We can actually bump that down a little bit. And I don't, I don't like that. So those are too far apart. Now let's try aligning them to the terrain. So if we line it to the terrain, come on. Oh, got to have it selected. And it, what? It's wanting to put them all right there in that group. Um, I guess they're kind of aligned to the terrain. I don't know. It's not very obvious. I mean, it's obviously altering it here, but this one def yeah they're it's definitely altering them but yeah so i mean that looks cool now let's try it with the the different scales let's see what that looks like so if we select this one and then we'll set our uh max to looks like we can go up to four and then we'll set this down to 0.5 or yeah 0.5 okay now with that selected we want to do our terrain mesh paint mode tool and see what that does. Whoa! Okay. It's not quite as random as I was expecting it to be, but <laughs> yeah, craves for some good variety, right? Um, bump that down. Maybe four is too high. Yeah. So you can kind of play with it and, um, do what works best for you. See, it's a good variety. And you can kind of alter these in the ways that you think works best. But yeah, so that's a, another way to put down objects such as rocks and trees. I'm sure you can come up with some other stuff um, to use for this tool. So yeah, pretty much whatever you have selected here, it will duplicate where you paint it at the settings you have set down here in the mesh mode. And then you can align it to terrain do not scale trees or it will break them when they're cut. So, yeah. I don't know. What do you guys think? Would you like to see more content like this? More tutorials on the old Giants editor? I think I'm going to keep going with these. I'm kind of enjoying doing them. So, yeah. Appreciate you watching. Let us know what you would like us to cover in future videos. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Also, you can join our Discord. And uh, we're very helpful in there. Appreciate you watching. Have a good one.